OK. In this video, we'll see how to use uh, Adobe Watermark plugin in Photoshop CS5 or CS6 to apply watermarks on our photos in batches. So I have this plugin installed, which uh, is available for free. Uh, the link to download the plugin is provided in the description. You can check it out. But I find that this is a very handy tool. Now, in order to apply watermarks on photos, we can do it manually by using the text tool. But this is going to be a very tedious task if you have a lot of uh, photos to apply watermarks to. And uh, we can also use Adobe's uh, Automate Batch feature to apply watermarks. Uh, we can set some actions and apply uh, watermarks but uh, we're not going to uh, check this process now since there are plugins available uh, for this uh, job we can skip this for now and we will see how to install and use the Adobe watermark plugin or extension so since I have already installed uh, the plugin we are going to remove this first and then we'll see one by one how uh, we can install and use the Adobe Watermark plugin. So let me close Photoshop for now. Let me start Photoshop again and let's see if the extension is really gone. Yep, the extension just vanished just now. It's no longer here and I can also confirm from extension it's not there. So the extension has been uh, removed. So um, I have the Adobe Watermark uh, plugin downloaded. It's a zip file so I'll have to unpack it first. So let me extract this copy and I'll get this folder and inside this folder this is the file that we need to install so I'll go back to extension manager again Adobe extension manager So when I start Photoshop uh, after installing the extension, the extension is not visible here, but it should be visible under Windows extension and there it is. So let me just click on it. And once I click it, the extension is now visible on the sidebar here. I can drag this to the top because I use it often. So there it is. So this completes the uh, installation of Adobe Watermark extension. So now that we have Adobe Watermark extension installed, let's see how the uh, user interface looks like. And then we will test this uh, plugin or extension with some photos. So there are four steps mentioned which are clearly labeled so the first step is select watermark source file now you can also use a logo to watermark uh, your photos you can also use uh, tags if you don't have a logo you can also use tags you can simply write your name or whatever you want and then you can choose the font uh, font styles font size text color i'm gonna set it white for now append file name or not so that is the first section now this plugin is very handy it can um, 
you can use this plugin to watermark a single photo or you can also select an entire folder or or you can opt to choose open images open images means uh, whatever say you have three or four pictures open in the photoshop window or workspace that those images will be used to uh, for the batch processing but you also have the option to select a folder you also have an option to use open images so this is really handy let's uh, for the purpose of this example let's select a folder i have a sample pictures here so I'm gonna select the folder and then click OK. So for the batch processing, this plugin is going to pick up images from the sample pictures uh, directory. And we can also select a folder where we want to save the uh, processed images. So let's go to the third setting. Select watermark position and style. The fourth setting is about the uh, JPEG export setting. So you can also set the quality of the save image and you can also define the dimensions in pixels of the image that will be exported the resolution is 72 which is okay if you are going to share uh, online or maybe uh, on websites but if you're going to use it for print i think 72 is going to be a bit less so you can accordingly set the quality and resolution 300 pixels per inch is good for printing anyways so this is about the setting uh, let's just run this tool so as you can see automatically the plugin has picked up the pictures from this folder and they should be saved in this folder I have five images on the folder and as you can see all the five images are here so let's see how the plugin has uh, applied the watermark since I chose sender the watermarks are all on the sender and let us see the dimension of the photos it's 900 by 675 okay let's me check the source file so on the right hand side you can see that the source file was 640 by 480 but the final output is 900 by uh, 900 by 675 900 because we chose a setting here for the output to be 900 pixels so it seems uh, the plugin has automatically adjusted the width and the height has been um, proportionately adjusted so as you can see we can use easily use this plugin to uh, apply watermark to multiple photographs now let's see an individual image so let me just drag one of this photograph and put it in the workspace so now I have chosen open image that means uh, apply the watermark on this image that is open in Photoshop so let's run it so this time the watermark is only applied to the image that is open in the Adobe Photoshop workspace so I did not choose any specific or a different folder to save the file so it's now here so as you can see the file names are accordingly appended so 
we do not lose any uh, photos even if we run the tool once or twice or maybe by mistake so the photos are not uh, lost so anyways I just wanted to share this uh, extension with you if you want to watermark your photographs then I find that this tool is very handy I was using this tool on Adobe Photoshop CS5 and uh, now I'm using on Adobe Photoshop CS6 it works on both so you can also check this out if you have or if you watermark your photos regularly then this is a very handy tool so that's it for now guys thank you